after we started taking our break, uh, we decided to go back outside to see what's going on. We got spotted by this weird hunting dog aquatic flying horror creature thing. Uh, we went back into the caves and decided to find another way out of the area without alerting the giant flying hunting dog monstrosity by using the uh, the cave system where Nyx and Bramnik uh, just committed a small-scale genocide. <laughs> Don't forget you were impressed by my polymorph abilities. I'm not or impressed my, by your polymorph abilities. abilities. I was impressed by your... Sorry about that. Papers. There's a uh, there's a real estate mom trying to buy the house and I rent, so no. Nope. Okay. So as you guys get in, uh, as you guys sort of go down the hallway, it starts to go. It starts to have a slight gradient up, but it's getting darker, a lot darker. Ah, oh, poor me. Torch. <laughs> I was gonna light a torch for you. <laughs> like, it's really I... hard. It's coming from the dwarf that had to whine about opening the lid. Hey, I got it open, okay? Alright. Well, as you're going, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to move you guys really quick. It should just be an entirely black screen right now. Uh, so you guys are going down a, a hallway, um, slowly leading up. Uh, and we die. Right. Rocks fall, everybody dies. Yep. All right. And uh, you... Guys are you kind of you're going for a good twenty minutes. Uh, your pixie stuff is not gonna last that much longer. You guys investigated everything. You got maybe fifteen minutes left. Okay. Um. So as you guys uh, get up, uh, you see a what looks like a very thin part to the um cavern that opens up into a larger room <clears throat> what do you want to do moving forward okay you're going through first huh yep okay you get through no problem uh you have to squeeze in sideways for sure mm -hmm. uh, all right who's next uh, I think I'm next on the order line order, so I'll go. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Either next to. And then. Okay. Yeah. So you all, uh, and then those that one's still bat, so she gets through no problem. Corlin has to kind of squeeze through, but manages. All right. So. Here is the situation. You guys are in this very small room. That's about as far as you can see. It's towards the bottom of the thing. Just saying, so you know. Hold on, I'll ping. Oh, weird. I keep moving forward. Is it still dark? Okay. As, dark it as is balls. dark as balls. You can you can't even see. You got like All right, I'll one hand up, fire. Okay. On my hair or something or whatever. Okay, so it'll be like a 10-foot radius for your the light that you're giving off, I guess. All right. Um, but it gives it gives those of you with dark vision a little bit better sight. And you can see up to there. Is the flooring just like natural dirt? No. Or... Well, the part you're in... Yes, but right when you get up to there, you notice that old, old stonework that you saw in the tomb. Ivy. Uh, shit. Hey, hey, 
Nyx. What? Do you have any heal spells left in that ring? Nope. Uh, before, all right, before we go any further, I'm going to pop a Hold potion on. of healing real quick. Hold on. Uh, at this point, um, uh, Barter actually walks up to you. Because how hurt are you? Uh, pretty hurt. I don't... Like, out of character, I'm um, about two-thirds, not even two-thirds of my health. Close to half. He, he looks at you and goes, I don't know why, I don't know how, but here. He reaches out one hand, sort of just touches you, and heals you. A little better. Well, I mean, it's... He, are you gonna burn a divine sense? Nope. But just as like a mm. paladin. I mean, it's healing is div, div is you know divine, or is it, actually it's evocation. Yeah. Um, I guess not really. No, you don't really feel anything specifically divine about it. Right? Since I cast so much cure wounds, would I recognize it as what it is? Yeah, you'd, you'd recognize the spell as Cure Wounds. Oh, are you a cleric? I... I don't know, I just... It just... When, when you said you needed healing, it just sort of... I don't know, it was just there in my brain. I just knew what to do. I, I can't explain it. I need 100,000 gold. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to go forward. <laughs> hey, I just, I just check. Yeah, most of that's going to be uh, to pay off his debt there, uh, buddy. Yeah, I've already paid off one debt. I still owe you 50 gold. Or, well, it's not even 50 anymore. It's like 35. Is this door locked? Uh, the door... Hold on. Got it on my list. Is... Not locked. It's a heavy door, though. Alright, I'm gonna open it. Okay. Oh, God. Um, you see... Yeah, you see a small room here. Can we... Make me a history check? Like anything that might have a similar name to Barter? Bardor? Yeah, make me a history. Uh, no. His name is Bardor. Bardor. That. Yeah. God damn it, why am can, I so dumb? Can we hear anything coming from... Perception. Uh... You... Man, with that level, oh, with that amount, um... You can actually hear some stuff. Uh... You can hear... What sounds like someone or something sort of like trying to move around. It's a little, it's a ways away. Hold on, I'm going to fix this map because it's pissing me off. So hold on one second here. I'm going to fix this. Just bear with me. This is why Roll20 sucks sometimes. Because uh, it does things that you don't want it to do. Eh. That didn't help much. Uh, so that's there, so it needs to go in one more. I'm, yeah, I just need to fix this because it's pissing me off. Something fierce, so. Welcome to my life. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just put that. There. There we go. Oh, thank God. It's less annoying for me. Okay. That's what I do. Okay. So now, while it's not perfect, it's better.
Ugh. Still not great. This particular map it has always been a pain for me, so it is what it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can hear what sounds like sort of running footsteps. That's, that's about all I hear. Yeah. I hear running footsteps, guys. Does it sound like it's getting closer or further away? Further away. Do they sounds sound like they're like, running away. Well, are they Open like heavy footsteps or are they like tiny footsteps? Very small footsteps. Tiny footsteps. You know, you think you get it just right and then you don't. Yep. Oh, Carillion died. But, but, now it's actually lined up. Thank fuck. Okay, <laughs> sorry, you don't, I have no idea. Uh, all right, so this is what you're going to see here. Sort of this room. I'm just going to open this up for... Uh, and at this point, you hear sort of like a, a... Almost like a screech, like a cry out, and then a, sort of a crunch sound. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Uh, it could be so which direction, like right or down, east or south. That way. Oh. oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll go that direction. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> He's like, I want to see Let me. All right. You gonna take a look in? You can see this. Uh, there's a this door here. The first one is sort of flung wide open. You know, is it like an angle like that? This door here is partway ajar. Pushing it open. Okay. Here's what you see. Uh, hold on. Actually, I'll, I'll probably, well, if I heard the screaming and the crunching, I'll probably let Carillion get ahead of me. Because <laughs> I don't want to be in the front line. I'd be like, hey, All right. hey um, wait, Tom, wait, before we go in there and kill everything, you might want to nope, hand like, open the door. Okay. Uh, you oh, see this <laughs> pale thing what? eating this, the goblin that you uh, had chased earlier. It is very much dead. It's got its, uh, its sort of weird, fucked up maw around its head, and it's slowly eating it, like what? just taking a bite. And half of its head comes off, and then takes another bite, and it's down to its just its neck, and it's slowly eating through it. Were we? Oh here? my um, god! Were we progressing down, like down slope, when we were going nope. to the tunnel? Or... No, up. We were going up. Mm-hmm. What I slow gradient up. Would I have seen this creature at all in the beast series? Like Hell that? no, you would not have. <laughs> okay. Dear Lord, well, what have you done? Close, close the door! Um, close the door! <laughs> Nyx oh. continues to scream. Uh, Don't scream too loud, others. I'm, I'm <laughs> casting burning hands on it. Okay. Uh, I'll just move her right behind you. Let me get in here. Uh, in that case, uh, you can cast burning hands, but if that's the case, I need everyone to roll initiative. Well, shit. If you're going to start this. Um, I mean, I did tell my pixies to prepare a spell for when they saw an enemy. Oh, God. <laughs> so. You fucked up. Uh, whatever, I get the first hit. Um, let's see here. Oh, wait, initiative order. It's not good. That's not what I want. Yeah. I want Holy shit, shit, I did good. Nice. Uh, nice. This is what I wanted. I have too many creatures, it turns out. Um, I need to learn about that. Okay. Oh god. Okay, so that should have picked up everyone. Um looks like it. Oh, do I need to roll initiative for my eight pixies or can I just have them roll all one? Roll? Just roll one. I don't know what their initiative bonus would be. Uh it's their dex mod. Oh let's so see here. Dex mod is uh, plus five. Wow. Yep, so plus five. <laughs> Alright. Cast sleep on it. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Plus, I can't remember. Do I, oh no. Yeah. 
why? Why are you like this? Well done. Um, hold on here. I'm j I, I have to get everybody now, so... Uh, uh, there. Don't come in here. This is a bad room. Uh, just in so, case we need her. So the door is normal sized, right? Uh, yes, it is. But the thing inside is huge? Yeah, uh -huh. well, it's large. Yeah, it's pretty big. But it wouldn't fit through the door, or would it? Um, from what you can see, you have no idea how it fit through that door. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. How the fuck did it get in this room? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it grew up in here, but I don't want to find out if it breathes anything in this hallway. Okay. Uh, oh, I need Crook. Does the door open into the chamber or into the hallway that we're in? Into the chamber. Okay. Spell save DC 12. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, wood with metal bands. The wood looks very, very old, but it looks like it was treated. So. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, so, its right arm is actually three arms, long, thin arms with uh, claws on them. Its uh, left arm has this sort of, uh, it looks almost like a bug shell shield on it. And it also has uh, almost a spider-like mouth. So, um, Bramnik, or actually Todd, go ahead and roll your thing. Okay, I'm gonna guess bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me actually. Okay. Uh, let's see. DC 13 dex save. Yeah, 14. Um, it doesn't make it, no. weirdly. Okay, so 14. Is it. Nope. Okay. Uh, Does it get set on fire? We well, you know that's just things that aren't being. Never mind. Okay. There you go. All right. Well. There's not a whole lot I can do, so I'm. I'll tell. Uh, one of the pixies. To cast. Oh god, I gotta look at their spells. Uh, yeah, as far as you can tell, Ty, looking at it, it doesn't have eyes. All right. Just a toss out there. I don't know what half of these spells do, so give me a sec here. Do they have any healing spells? No. Damn. I don't think. No, it doesn't look like it. No. Uh, uh, Where's mine? So I have a perfect creature. Chase with her eyes. Alright, so I'll tell uh, one of the pixies to cast. Uh, sleep on it. Okay. Uh, and then for my action, I'll. Uh... Did you roll for Pixie? I don't remember. They, the, uh, yeah, they got six. they got a six. So. Okay, let, I'm just gonna add that real quick. Uh, just that way, when it's their turn, they know yeah. what to do. Oh, uh, I didn't. I'll, I'll tell the rest of them to just. Hang out. Uh, and then I'll use Frostbite on the uh, the thing, the creature. Okay. So it's a DC 15 con save. Um, okay. Jesus yeah, Christ. it shrugs that off and sort of looks over at all of you now that it's noticing you. 
So it still takes the damage, it just doesn't get disadvantage on attacks. Okay, uh, it looks like it doesn't take that much damage from it. Alright, good to know. That's my turn. Okay, uh, Kara doesn't really know what's going on and still in bat form. She's going to fly up to here, but that's all she's going to do. Uh, Corellian? Uh, it I is out of range of your pike. Ch chucking javelins at it. Okay. There it is. It's an action. Uh, shield of faith. It's an action. Is it a spell? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's one right. of, actually it's a bonus action and it's Oh yeah. It's, the casting time is one bonus action and it lasts up to ten minutes. Okay. Cool. I will chuck two javelins. Okay. Those will both hit. And uh I will cast Shield of Faith on uh Ta and just tell him, Hey buddy, you. remember you did this. <laughs> You're taking it. Oh, I fuck yeah, I fucking wanna do this. Okay. Um Okay, so yeah, you get a bonus to AC. Mm -hmm. Uh let me twenty five. I need to uh, grab right one thing here. With that. Right. I could increase it, though. As long as uh, he doesn't reach over you and start hitting me, I'm okay with that. This is what I wanted. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I was right. Cool. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. So, brings us to it. Uh, and because we can't, hold on, uh, and because I love this, uh, oh, please don't spray it, for the love of God. <laughs> the fact that you say that makes me happy. Uh, it walks right up to you. Nope. And yes, nope. you get an opportunity to attack. I hit the fuck out of it. Oh, it's still going to walk up to you. Yep. smite. That is going to be a 27-34. Okay. Okay. Uh, it looks at you uh, for that, uh, but notices that it has a thing in front of it. So... It's going to first attack with its shield. It no. wasn't very good. I think that's a... Uh, what's that? Who does it attack? Does it have like a 10 foot attack range? Or five foot attack range? Uh, that attack has a 5 foot. Okay. It's attacking Tara, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, sorry. This just went dumb. Uh, and I want to go here, and I want to, there we go, okay. So then, uh, and then it sort of swings its other part of its body around and makes two claw attacks. Uh, yeah, I'll let that through. Uh, All right. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry, it's 23 right now. It's 23, so no, yeah. my, my, okay. my And then it bites down on you. Nope. Uh, at that point, let's see, um, alright, yeah, it's going to sort of, it, it's, it's more posturing right now, uh, let's see here, and, alright, that brings us to next. I uh, step five feet this way, and sh can I? I can shoot him. Like I have a line of sight, right? Yeah, you yeah, you'll be fine. No doubt. I'll just blast him in the face. Okay, that'll hit. That won't. And then I will step back. All right. Uh, 
Uh, so what did you want the pixie to do? Oh, God. I don't know. What did it do? I'm trying to figure out a good spell. I'm not sure what, like, Phantasmal Force does. Uh, Phantasmal Force, it like basically creates, creates an illusion. illusion, yeah. Um, uh, God, yeah, I have no idea. I guess I'll have every pixie available that that's not concentrating on the, uh, the bat, whatever, polymorph, cast sleep on it, so that'd be Five pixies, four pixies, something like that. Uh, yeah, five. I guess. <laughs> so roll it. They each get five d8 worth of hit points. Uh, actually, sorry, man, don't bother. It's immune to sleep. Well, then they. I mean, that's what I told them. <laughs> so yep. Then their turn is wasted. Crook, uh, sort of starts coming down. He's not sure what's happening. Nobody's made any calls out yet. And this thing Carter is super comes hideous. down. That brings us to Ta. Alright, uh, so would planting my shield be a bonus action or an action? Uh, we'll call it a bonus action. Okay, so I want to plant my shield in front of me as three quarter cover, which gives me a plus five to AC. So that brings it to 23, plus the plus 2 from Shield of Faith. So now my AC is 25. And I'm going to use my spear, because it's a very combined space, but with two hands, and then I'm going to attack him. Okay. So there's one. Okay, that'll hit. And, and one. that'll hit. All right. And I guess, yeah, that'll be it. That's bonus and uh, main action. Okay. Nice job. Uh, Brandon, you're up. Already? Mm -hmm. Okay. Since I saw that sleep didn't work, I'm going to tell them to confuse it. So I'll have one try to confuse it. I feel like you're a Pokemon master right now. Uh, <laughs> like Pixie. He is confused. He pretended to be a model. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to. Do you need your badge with him? With. You don't have enough badges to train me. Uh, you can actually use your feet with the range. What's the range on it? 10 feet. Right. So. I'm going to. I, uh, there's literally like nothing I can do, right? Now. Uh... That's okay. Offer words of encouragement. <laughs> yeah, I've I got nothing. I'll, I'll just cast Frost whenever it again. Frostbite. Okay. Even though it didn't do much damage. So. Okay, can't say. Doesn't make it. Failed! It. So it gets disadvantage on. Attack turn attacks. For how long? Uh, let's see, I think it's just one round. Okay. Yep, it's one round. Keep that up. We'll need Until it. Until the end. Makes it for the end of its next turn. Yeah. All right. At this point, Kara kind of comes down and goes, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> Which sounds like squeak, squeak, squeak. squeak. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> is she still a bat? <laughs> uh, she can't do anything right now. It's just a She's just gonna it. fly around frantically. <laughs> um, Corlin, you're up. Right, okay. Uh, since I notice it doesn't have any eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and just think that you know, if it doesn't have eyes, it probably smells or hears. So let's go ahead and eliminate one of those. I uh, I do a thunder smell, and that makes that okay. was a spell that it, but it makes me make an attack. Does that mean I get make an effect on the attack with no effect on it? Uh, yeah, it, it's a bonus action to apply to the, and it applies on the first attack that actually hits. 
cool. So you get it. So that means you don't get your staff bludgeon or whatever, yep. but you do get your regular two attacks. Cool. I will go ahead and make my attack, and then do the. I'll actually I'll cast the thunder smite uh, after the attack. That'll hit. Okay. Cool. Uh, I will add a. Let's see. Thunder smite. It is a first level spell. And it does make a super deafening noise that will uh, go for about three feet. And uh, it needs to make yep. a strength save or be not. It'll deafen uh, uh, actually everyone. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Ta, make me a constitution save. Because he did that r literally over your head. Uh, and he needs to make a strength save. Oh, my bad. He's got plus seven. Um, <laughs> four strength saves. So 24. He doesn't get knocked prone or anything, unfortunately. Uh, but he does out. take the seven damage. So that's a total of 19. And you get another 10. Boom. And I'll let a second level this might not. That's fine. So 20. Wait, no. Yes, 28. Right? Yeah, that's... Yeah. I'm doing the math. I got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the one that has to keep up. I'm, I'm uh, just... yeah. I got it. Alright, cool. Does the death um, do anything to it? Yeah. Uh, it did... Well, you're not sure yet, but, uh, it didn't seem to notice the sound. Ah. Uh, all right. At this point, uh, he has this thing has gashes and and you know bolt marks from uh, Eldritch Blast and everything all over him. And uh, Ta, you're close enough to see this. They slowly start to sort of fix themselves. Oh shit! I'm gonna shout over my shoulder. It heals. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so uh, at this point, uh, the ceilings here are about uh, in this hallway. Uh, well, they're all about 15 feet high. It's, you know, sort of grand architecture. Uh, it looks at Utah, and re it seems to have some sort of... Uh, if you actually look at the front... It, he, it almost seems like he's smelling something. He jumps in the air and oh. sticks to the ceiling. Ah, uh, right. no, 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 no. Size though, right? Uh, uh yeah. Uh, it's about. Uh, well, it's bigger than normal. It's about ten feet high. Um, then you watch as his rib cage crushes in on itself and he uh, goes it's from not it's this big he literally squishes in and uh he's going to move Does that to mean... here uh... taking opportunity attacks from all of you no no but... why <laughs> now you know how he got in there yeah. does... does that mean he's a shape changer no, uh, his body literally squishes itself like a rat does or a cockroach. Um, <laughs> Saber make your attack quick. Uh, that's not great. Mm, that one doesn't hit. Uh, let's see. Bramnik, you gotta hit. Um... Okay. And uh, actually. It doesn't leave uh, Barter's reach. In Nick fact, gets a attack as well, right? Yeah, she can stab out if she wants. Do it. Any little bit helps at this point. This thing is okay. creepy as fuck. Mm -hmm. It's me. <laughs> what should, what should I do? Uh, uh hit hit uh, swing. Actually, you know what? At this point. 
I don't think it's going to matter too much, uh, but there should be one on there that says dagger or something like that. Click Push that. Dagger. We'll that yeah, that'll work. Nope. <laughs> so, as, as this arachnid sort of fucking crazy thing runs by Bramnik, it's going to swing at you with its shield. Fuck you. Fifteen? Uh, no. All right. Uh, let's see here. It's gonna do, uh, it will do one, uh, Corellian. 26. Ow. He's, like, forever away. I'm doing this in the path oh, that he okay. took. Sorry, he's attacking while he's on the ceiling and running by. Okay. Uh, he's um, gonna swing it next. I had this planned out in the beginning. Uh, 22. So... You take, uh, next takes 12 damage. For sure. Um, and then he's gonna make one swing at, uh, Kara. Uh, the little bat thing. So, uh, what's the AC on the bat? Wait, nothing. Uh, it's 12. <laughs> it, the bat somehow dodges out of the way. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that's nice, uh, but also not nice, because I'm sure she doesn't want to be a bat at this point. Let's see here. Oh, she can just run into a wall. And look at so. uh, oh, and there's its bonus. Okay, and it. while it's on the ceiling, you kind of see uh, it. You see along its back, it has these spines, these sort of spikes sticking out. Um, uh, they look like, how would I describe them? Almost like porcupine quills, but they're a lot. It's not nearly as numerous. Um, there, but its back is kind of covered with them uh, along along the center, and uh, you just sort of see them. Not so much glow, but like how would I? S um, they almost look like uh, actually they look like uh, uh, if you guys know what sea urchins look like, Ooh, God. like that, and they all sort of s extend a little bit. Um, let's see here. That'll be cool. Uh, can I close the door as a free action? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll let you do it as a bonus. Damn it, I don't have the time to do it. <laughs> Nix. Okay. No, oh, is it my turn? Oh my god, yep. voice changed again. What is going on? Yeah, Cherry told you she was killing me. That was great. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, it was it's a little bit scary. Where, like, where it crushed its own birdcage, jump on the ceiling, and ran past all of us. Yeah, which is unfortunate because that was pretty set up. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess. Uh... Oh wait, this is a, a long, uh, long enough range for not being at disadvantage, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, yeah, I'll totally Elder Splash this thing. Uh, come at me, bitch! You maybe don't want to do that. Both yeah. of those hit. I wouldn't talk to him. And then I will taunt it. <laughs> Luckily for you, it doesn't have ears. It doesn't listen very Yeah, uh, it doesn't have eyes, and it doesn't seem like sound effect. Okay. So, I have yeah. a very technical question. Sure. Can my pixies hold actions? Uh... Like, individually. Not as a group, but individually. Individually? <laughs> God, this is why I hate this spell sometimes. I know. Just because there's so much crap. Uh, technically... Yes, if you define the thing, and you, yeah. I'm gonna, this is my plan, and you can tell me if I can do it or not. I want to tell my four pixies that did not cast Polymorph, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell one to cast Polymorph, and then I'll tell the others to chain theirs every time it reverts back to its normal form, and I'll tell them to Polymorph it into a cat each time. Okay. So basically, for four turns, Every time it takes damage, it's going to revert to its normal form, but... Right. Okay. I, I have a plan. Sure. 
Um, let me, uh, click the spell for me. I need to remember something. It's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Sure, versus your spell DC, or versus it's their spell DC. theirs, which is, I think, a 12. Okay. So, are you going to have the first one do it now? Yes. Wait, okay. hold on. Bramnik, does the cat have the lowest amount of health hit points? It has 2 HP. Cool. And every damage that goes over that gets sent into it, and it only has an armor class of 12. Okay, so the first one does turn it into a cat. Okay. So then the rest are holding their action until it reverts to its normal. However, because cats always land on their feet, he takes no damage as he falls. That's fine. Uh, all right. It brings us to Crook, and Crook sort of walks down and goes, um... Kill the cat. Get the fuck out of that cat. Kill the cat. I can do that. Uh, hold on. Let me get so to Crook. Like, um, this is going to be fun. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, let's use a two. So for all Kurikos, all you saw was like what maybe some skittering on the roof as he was making into the doorway. Yeah. Uh, and now a cat. <laughs> cat drop from the sea. Uh, so he's going to. How many does he have? He's got one of those, so I'll keep that for the moment. He's going to first uh, burn a couple of spell uh, spell points. I believe it's two. Yes. Okay. And he's going to cast Agnar Scorcher right into it. So I need uh, a dexterity save from the cat. I don't remember what the stats are. I got you. Hold on. Two seconds. Uh, cat is dex of plus two. So 1d20 plus 2? Yeah. Roll it? Or I'll, I'll roll it. Oh, okay. I was going to say I can do it. Doesn't make it. So he po he reverts. This is the most fucked so up thing. Took, so he uh, took so 9 he... damage, basically. In his normal form. His normal form took yep. 9 damage. And, the and then and since he popped, my he another pixie is going to cast... Yep. So he needs to make another wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> this is why I asked if I could he do makes it. a lot of shit. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, Kruk's gonna do another Scorcher. That brings us down here. So I need to roll this again. Uh, 3d8 for... Uh, or no, he, it's his dex now. Right. Doesn't make it, so he takes 10. So does the next pixie go? Well, technically their order was to wait until he popped form and then cast it, so I don't know. It's up to... It's up to Raven. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, the next one could go if you wanted it to. Yeah, it's going to go. Okay. So wisdom was, save. What? Eleven. Doesn't make it. So Turns it's a cat back again. into a fucking cat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is so abusive. Uh, this yeah, actually brings up. us to barter. <laughs> he walks down. He goes. I don't. I'm not sure how I feel about killing a cat. <laughs> it's, it's not, not really, really a cat. cat. You saw that. <laughs> you know so what it really he, is. <laughs> he just sort of looks over. and goes. Good point. <laughs> There's eight damage. Uh, that'll be so it's six. six. <laughs> and then he has to make and another then, wisdom save or stay a cat, basically. For as long as. A, uh, oh, no. Does it, he died. Oh. He died as a <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and Barter just sort of goes, That's more like it. I can hit that. <laughs> Once you pop back to his form, I got one more pixie with polymorph. That can okay, it. yeah. So sure. he has to make that wisdom throw. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make it, so that goes to, uh, seven. 
Uh, as he reverts out of the cat form again, uh, you just hear this sickening, and it dies. However, make me a perception check. All of us, or everyone? Twenty-five. Bramnik, you're the only one that hears this, but you can hear more skittering coming from further on in the complex. Oh my God. Guys, there's more. There's nope, more we're skittering. Getting out. We're getting the fuck out. I'd rather <laughs> fight that horror than more of these things. Uh, I mean, it to really didn't have a ton of hell. However, I'm however. <laughs> Uh, at this point, all the pixies look at you and go, Well, fuck you. It's been fun, but I hate being done used for grunt work. And they all disappear. Thank you for your help. Oh no, wait, Bora's gonna fall as a bat. <laughs> Every single one of them turns back into humans. Oh shit. Uh. Um, yeah. So, what are you gonna do? You, bar the door. I'm giving bar you a time the limit. Bar the doors. Barter. Bar door. Bar the door. Which door? Where are we going? What Every are we doing? One of them. Is is there still a corpse of that goblin that was getting eaten? Was it just the head that got eaten? Uh, the head was the only part that got ripped apart so far. I'm gonna pick the body. Just look for that knife. Real quick. Okay. Uh, you look in there. Uh, he does not seem to have a knife on him. Uh, how big are those spines on this thing's back? Uh, they're probably about a foot long. Cool, I'll yank a couple of them out. Give me a strength you're check. Gonna, you're gonna dissect the bug while we got more of them coming? We gotta go. Exactly like this one did. Uh, yeah, you managed to pull, you managed um, to pull like two off. I think I'll give you about two. The rest of them, uh, uh after being basically kick the shit out of uh, he's uh, they're in pretty rough condition but That's you can fair. get two of them off I didn't look uh, to get that all right uh, this one comes here and then that one was down there so well, at this point I'll just turn to Bramnik because he said no I mean they're probably not they didn't seem like they're that tough me and Ta held that thing at the door for we hit that thing really damn hard at that door yeah, but I don't know. We we should probably either go or we need to quickly set up a formation and try to fend off more. It's, well, we, we can't go back the way we came from, so it's no. either one way or no way. Fuck, we, uh, shit, how many doors are here? Three doors? Four. I see four. Four, four doors. Uh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run here. Can I can I determine where I hear the skittering coming from? Uh, you can hear it coming from that way, from that way, from that way. Yeah. Uh, Wait, hold on. is this a door? Yeah, there's a door down there. My bad. All right. Uh, uh is the door right in front of me locked, or is this a door? I can't tell. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a door. Is it locked? Uh, yes it is. Is it made out of wood and stuff? Carillion, bust it down. Bust down this door. It's made out of, re of wood reinforced with metal. Uh, uh, I can uh, try, but it's probably not going to end very well. Okay, give me a strength. Or athletics, whatever works. Oh, yeah, in that case I'll do it. Okay, that's better. Uh, Todd, do you want to help? Yeah, I can do that. Cause, because that would, that would break a hinge, but it's not going to knock it down. Uh, was it? Oh, athletics. Athletics, yeah. Oh, oh no my god. god. Okay, so you managed to break a hinge. However, as you are trying to break the door down, the first one comes bursting through the door. Fuck. Back and it looks right at you. Back at initiative order. Oh, it's me. Um. Wait. Uh, uh, what is its initiative still twelve? Or... Yeah, yeah. I rolled for all of them at once. Uh, 
course you did. Alright, I'm gonna Thanks. take one step forward, I'm gonna hit it with poison spray. Okay. DC 15 con save? Yeah. Uh, wow. So, that was a natural one. And then I'm gonna uh, run the fuck away 20 feet. Wherever I can. <laughs> Back up this way. Okay. Kara, no longer in, um, in bat form, sort of looks over and goes, Ah, oh, I finally get to use these things. Pulls out two pistols. Uh, this is going to be fun for me. Um, so, first, uh, basically she's just looking around at this and goes, Sorry guys, sorry about your ears, but, uh, What? She... What? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, here goes. She's taking, uh, she's going to take four shots. Oh, damn. Ooh. Get it, girl. She's action surging, basically. Damn. Holy shit. At sharpshooter. That doesn't hit. Still impressive. And that doesn't hit. Uh, so, d did 40 damage. Start and uh, she used her bonus action to, she uses her bonus action to reload. Oh, fall back into the first uh, curved corridor. Go. Go, 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 go. Those are all the same size door, right? Uh, this is a double door. It's much bigger. No, no, I mean, like, be between the room in V5 and then V6 where we came in. Like, right, those all the same. Yeah, doors. yeah. Okay. Uh, so that, uh, so yeah, so Kara moves back. Actually, she'll move kind of over here next to next. Uh, that brings us to Corellian. Uh, I will go ahead and back up five feet so everybody's covered, and now I'm going to go chuck two more javelins. Okay. Both of those hit. And, uh, yeah, I got, a. I got nothing else to do. So, yeah, I guess, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll just, I'll just chill. All right, at this point, uh, it's going to move right up here. Oh, boy. Uh, Go away. Okay, that'll hit. It also starts to heal a little bit. This first one is going to make two attacks, or one attack on Utah. So here comes the first one, 21. Nope, you still have your, the other shield up. Both two shield. attacks on you, uh, Corellian. Ow. Okay, that one doesn't hit. That one does hit, unless you want to help me out here, buddy. What? Oh, sorry, yeah, uh, disadvantage on him. Okay, so that doesn't hit. Thank you. And uh, the follow-up bite on Busty. Go ahead, hit me, bitch. Oh, God. You, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> DC 14 con save. And it's only seven damage, but... Oh, wow. uh, you got a plus two. Nah, that's not the bad one. So as long as you were... Yeah. Oh, God. I will use... You the... are now frightened. Oh, uh, of this creature, you are also poisoned. That means disadvantage on pretty much everything. Oh, okay. And you have to use your turn to get as far away from him as you can. You can repeat oh. the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. I wanted to use the thingy. The hellish Which thingy? Uh, the hellish no. Rebuke? No, it's a feat. Dark One's Blessing. Would give uh, me... is that... Uh, any saving throw gives me... 10 extra plus 10 points. yeah plus 10 to the you saving once for long rest i assume yeah okay then you are not for uh frightened currently oh thank you Lucky. okay cool okay yay nice. it brings us to yeah. your turn so how uh, you do so have to take seven the seven damage, damage from okay. it yeah, uh, yeah yeah making sure i punch that in um i will Wait, so I did get hit. Shit, can I do the Hellish Rebuke as a reaction from it? Or is that too late? Uh, that, your, your you 
re-roll, I think, is a reaction, isn't it? Plus 10. I, will, um, I don't know. It did say. I'll look it up. Uh, it's called Dark One's Own Look. There you go. Uh, well, okay, no. Uh, yeah, it's not a reaction, so you have Hallish Rebuke if you want to uh, use it. Yes, yes, I do. Actually, and we're not quite to your turn yet. I'll get to you in just a minute. But you can use Hellish Rebuke as your reaction real quick. So tell me. Uh, DC 15 dex for a shitload of damage, and he does not make it, so that's 33 damage. Oh, 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 yes. 33 on top of the 36 that's already been done. And uh, no, he's up a lot higher than that. He's taking more damage than that. Uh, however... A second one appears. Oh, God. Uh, uh, and a third one is trying to get through the doors. Uh, <laughs> the second one is going after uh, Corellian first. Two attacks. Nope. Yup. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw to maintain concentration on your shield of faith. It's I just a save. ten or higher. Alright, you maintain concentration. Uh, you are, uh, Ta, you are gonna get two attacks on you. So the shield, no. the bite, oh, no, damn oh, it. Well, no, yeah, not um, let's see, what the hell, that's really weird, the bite is that, it should be better, oh my god, Hold on. he's trying oh. to kill his guys, I had to fix something, my bad. Uh, okay. Um, this one here, you can see trying to get through the doors. It's not quite actually to you, Ty, yet. So, it's trying. Uh, but yeah, so now you have two on you. Uh, the third one is attempting to get through the, the doors there. It's having a little bit of trouble. Um, Nyx, you are up. Uh... Are we still running? What are we doing? Yeah. It's too late at this point. Well, all right, yeah. For starters, I'll shoot the dude right in front of me at disadvantage, since I can't really... I don't know. I don't want to get the attack of ops. So whatever. Disadvantage. Oh. Uh, yeah, the second one definitely hits. Sweet. And then, yeah, I'll stay where I am. I shouldn't move right now. Okay, yep, he's hurt. Uh, Crook is up. He's actually going to take a step in, because you may as well. Um, pew, pew. Where is the stuff? Uh, okay. First, he just sort of looks over at all you guys and goes, uh, well, we'll see if this works. And he is going to... Set this off right here. Yep. He's going to hit both of these. Uh, he'll cast it at third level. And quickened. So they're each going to make a DC 16 dex save for 21 fire damage. Uh, one. That makes... That doesn't. Okay. Um, so he's going to quicken and do a yeah he'll do a scorching ray at f uh oh that doesn't show at higher levels okay that's fine uh and that'll hit as well so okay got it uh wait scorching ray is three right yes 2d6 Two, three, all aimed at this guy here. So. Uh, 
131 to 140, 146 damage total. I think you're off with I'm just kidding. Plus the fireball. Okay. This one here starts, literally burns within its own skin. Uh, it seems to have some sort of, sort of like weird exoskeleton. It literally burns within it. Uh, and then this one down here takes some damage overall. All right. Uh, brings us to him, and he's going to kind of... He can't do anything, actually. He's going to try to move down here to support Ta. When this guy comes through, hold an action. Ta, you are up. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack the dude on the bottom right here, then. Uh, is the... Okay. Does the... Well, I guess I do. Does the door open into the room, like into our room? Like, uh, no, that's the problem oh, that okay. this guy's having. They're not necessarily inc incredibly smart. Um, yeah. All right, then yeah, I'm just gonna attack this one. And now that I'm out in a little more open area, I'm gonna use my sword instead. Okay. Okay, both of those hit. Nicely done. So that's a total of 26. Mm -hmm. And that's... Uh, um, yeah, that'll be it for now. Okay. Bramnik, you're up. <sighs> Alright. Uh, yep. Doing it. Conjure animals. Boom. Okay. Very last spell. I'm gonna go with... more stuff on the map. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's... Otherwise, I'm useless at this point. Uh, I, I'm ready to go digging. What do I need? I mean, you could heal me. Dire wolves. I can't heal you because I have no... I mean... Okay. Uh, I think it's... Here. Um, where are the wolves? I know they're in here somewhere. I need to actually make, like, a proper dire wolf token soon. I'll summon them on back side of this guy's and where they're both in range of attacking it okay uh, there we go uh where's the wolf there we go and they are large so where are you putting the first one uh on the back side of this guy so yeah, wherever they're within range and i rolled okay. a 14 for their initiative and then I will back the fuck up. I'm gonna run into the other room. Okay. So 15, we'll that. 25, so I can get all the way back here before. Uh... So the wolves are 14, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Kara. She pulls out her uh, her pistols uh, after reloading, and she's gonna take a few shots over here and says, "Look out! <laughs> Incoming!" Uh, her first shot. Yes. Oh, nuts. Okay. So, let me make sure I got this right. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So her first shot. It does uh, 24 damage. Pulls out the other pistol, fires that, and that one doesn't hit. So 24 to him. Okay. And she sort of uh, backs up a little bit. Uh, kind of moves off to the side. Uh, brings us to the wolves, do the thing with the wolves. Yep, they have pack tactics, so as long as an yep. ally is within five feet, they have advantage. Yep. They're both going to make bite attacks against the Bigfoot. Nice. Nice. Okay, so DC 13 strength save twice. Wait a minute. Did it? Yes. Uh, that, I thought that was when they ran at the target, but I don't remember. No, this, this just says... Okay, just uh, in general? The target cool. is a creature, it must succeed. Yeah. 11, so 18 damage. <laughs> and now it's prone and being flanked by my wolfies. Yep. So it's prone currently. Uh, 
Uh, Corellian, you're up. The I'm wolves, I'm going to say that these guys here, they're not going to count for flanking. Because that, there's too much yeah. oh, penis. It has, you have to be able to coordinate directly with the person yeah, uh, on the other good. side. So if it were like an ele if it was someone you could talk to and they would understand you, like Ta, for instance, right? Then you then it would totally work. But but with yeah. prone we get automatic advantage. Yes, right? it's automatic advantage while he's prone. Whew. Okay, uh, I just want to finish killing this thing as soon as possible. So here we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, all three of those will hit. So that's uh, thirty-one. Okay. That brings us to him, and he's gonna use half his movement to stand up. Uh, he's gonna look at you, Krillian, and he's just he, oh, uh, he's done with your shit. Is, I would like to say, hey, Bardor, if you got any more, any more of those good touches, I could really use one right about now. <laughs> he's gonna hit you with a kite in his shield. That misses. Claws. Nope. Ow. The last one. Yes. 10 damage, make me a con save. Uh, uh, plus 350. You do... Uh, Aura and my ring of protection. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, no, it's, it'd be 11. You don't get advantage on that con save. Oh, oh, right, right, right. My bad, my bad. Yeah, 11 is just enough. If it were an 8, you'd be fucked. <laughs> um, if, it were, if, it's, if it's under 10... Or if it's 10 or under, rather, I think, uh, yeah, no, if it's under 10, you lose concentration on your spell. Uh, he's going to bite you. 19. Uh, reaction, please. Disadvantage, yeah, yeah, dis I, I couldn't remember what your AC was. Thank okay. you. So, yeah, it's, 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 uh, currently 19. Okay, disadvantage, cool. But, this other one finally gets in. Uh... Uh, that actually brings us to, uh, Barter's held action. He was waiting. He's gonna punch him. <laughs> punch. No. Yes. So ten damage. Not bad for a punch. Not bad at all. Um. We might have work for you at a particular fighting arena if you do end up. <laughs> 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 However, uh, we're gonna spread the love a little bit. So the shield attack is gonna go against Barter. That yeah, didn't work very well. Uh, a claw attack against Corellian. Ow. 19. Yeah, I already used my disadvantage. I'm well, down. You're down? I started the fight at 49 hit points. Okay. I mean, I started the fight uh, with the original he then, 49. He then turns to Ta. Oh, oh yeah, my AC drops then, huh? By know. two, yeah. yeah. And he's going to bite. Nope. And he's going to swing. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think that's all of them. So that gets us to Nyx. Uh, so Krillian's down, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm bleeding yeah. on the floor. I don't know. I can't hold on. And I have no idea. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll shoot the dude that we were focusing on originally. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's still living, right? Yep. Yeah, that mm -hmm. guy. Fucking what the do but do Oh wait, okay. why am I on disadvantage? Oops. Oh, it it's fine. Okay. I got you. Whatever. Uh so that both of those hits, twenty. Sweet. Okay. And that'll be uh, it. Crook is going to uh, he's out of most things at this point. Uh, so he is going to uh, firebolt. That doesn't hit. I mean, he's 16. Okay. Uh, he just sort of goes, uh, anyone else that needs to go down there, now's the time to do it. I can still get my ass out if I need to. Um, that'll bring us to Bardor. As you guys say, uh, he's gonna let's see. He, oh no, he's out. Okay, can't do that. Uh, he's gonna punch the one closest to him. Both of those hit. 
22. And that brings us to Ta. How's this one that we've been fighting looking? Uh, this one? Mm -hmm. Real rough. Wait, okay. Uh, still, still standing, but he's looking pretty rough. Uh, unfortunately, on his turn, he did recover some health as his wounds started to close. Mm -hmm. But he is still here. Were you uh, saying something, Kai? Yes, the wolves still haven't gone yet. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they, did. they went earlier. Mm -hmm. we yeah, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people in the initial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Attacked. You attacked, then they attacked. Oh, right. And that's when you went down. Right. Uh, yeah, they went right after Kara. So. Yeah, I'm gonna use uh, use my sword on the really hurt one on the right. Okay, Roger that. That one doesn't it. That one does. All right, does it go down? No, it's far from that. We have to do over 150 points of damage to kill them. One. Then I'm going to use action search. Okay. That one doesn't hit. That one just hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's it. It honestly that's looks like it's on his last legs. Uh, Bramnik. Alright, I'm going to peek over and see what's happening. Can I see that Karelian's down? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna shout to one of the wolves. I'll shout to this wolf and say, "Bring me Carillion," and then I will cast Frostbite at this guy. Okay. Five damage. Uh, DC 15. All oh, right, he has a high con save. Uh, he makes or no, actually. Yeah, he makes it. Yeah, he makes it. So, so he doesn't have disadvantage, but he does take the damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, brings us to Kara. And uh, she's going to be an equal opportunity employer. Uh, and take one shot at each. So, the first shot on the damaged one. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> she gets a headshot. And that's all it needed. And it goes down. Uh, she turns around. Takes another shot. For 16. Okay. Uh, Wolves. Can I, can I say, like, would this wolf be able to grab Carillion and drag him to me? Uh, as an action can grab, uh, what's their movement speed? Like, 50 or 40? It's, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty good. It's only 50. 50 feet. Okay. Yeah. It's 50 feet. So, uh, you can move Corellian to, there. sorry, here. Okay. Corellian is here. And then the other one. Uh, cause it's half movement speed once he picks him up, but right. the reaver is going to take a, a, a swing. Which reaver? Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, uh, wait, what's that? Oh, I was just uh, saying that it did it in the range. Yep. Uh, but that's not who he's taking a swing at. Oh, you're lucky. All right. That's a miss no matter what. Uh, okay. Grillion, uh, make me a death save. Come on. Plus that three. is a fail. Does that apply? I don't, I don't think no. Wait, no, hold on. No. Yeah, one of those only you're incapacitated. None of that affects you. Yeah. And it doesn't affect death saves. Man. So. That brings us to the Reaver. Um, I'm going to do something, let's see, okay, and that's advantage to the smell, oh, I hate myself sometimes, okay, so here's what he's going to do, first, bite attack on Ta, mm -hmm. no dice, oh, uh, no, no, okay, shield attack on barter, that that'll go through. Where is Barter? There we go. Okay. Yeah. He's alright. Um 
He's then going to flatten himself on the ceiling. Ah, that's such a disturbing image. He's going to move over here. Ta, you get an opportunity attack. Okay. Nyx, you also get an opportunity attack. What? Nope. Right? Dagger that mofo. You know, just oh, get the dagger, oh, maybe you get lucky. Melee? Okay. Yeah, Unless you I have Warcaster. I don't think you have no. Warcaster, do you? No. 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 Yeah. It's a good spell. Oh, yeah. stagger. Oh, stagger. Oh, wow! That actually hits! Holy nice. shit! Yeah! Sucker punch that fuck! <laughs> stabby, stabby, motherfucker. So, um. He smelled the blood. Oh. Krellian. He's gonna attack you. Oh, fuck. Nope. Remove your dexterity modifier. From what? From your AC. From your AC. What is your dexterity modifier? Uh, I have zero dexterity modifier. Okay. Good. Whoa. Unfortunately. Uh... You just failed two more death saves. I'm dead. Because it crit you. I'm full on dead. I set up these rules a long time ago. Carillion! I explode him in the shatter of gore. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, uh, I'd like I'll to get to you in a minute. Uh, Nyx. Uh, yeah, yeah, Nyx. She'll just just go at him, I guess. Well, wait, where is? Uh, all right, so the dude on the left is him, right? Those other guys are all dead. Yeah, everybody else is dead. It's just him. So I barely have. You uh, you don't have disadvantage. Okay, cool. He's he's. It's only tough. if they're within melee range that you have disadvantage. No. Uh, Crook. He's just he doesn't have any. Uh, actually, can he? He uh he's gonna step here and cast burning hands in a way that won't hit you guys. I'm pretty sure I can make that arc, so... Oh, wow, that's terrible. Uh, DC 16. You couldn't have rolled that for that attack. <laughs> and he makes it. So he takes two. Uh, Barter, um, moves up. He's he's actually kind of... I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him here for these the purposes of this. But he is standing over top of you, Corelli, and sort of trying to defend you. Because the Reaver looks like he's trying to eat. Nope. To maybe Fuck regain... That. You guys will let him Shit. desecrate my corpse. And Barter's gonna punch. Oh, fuck. Uh, that'll hit. It's gonna punch. That won't hit. Okay. Ta, you're up. Alright. I'm gonna step up to the dude. And, uh, let me look here. I want to use... Oh, I'm going to go first. It's going to step up there, and then I want to use Thunder Wave to try and push him back 10 feet so he's away from Kai, if I can. Okay. Hit first level. So it's, uh... Oh, get oh yeah, Constitution's up. Where it doesn't hit anybody else, by the way. Okay, yeah, you can. I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm trying to push him away. 23. Oh, okay. Well, he's got a plus 10 to his con. It's okay. Insane. Uh, but yeah, he is hit. Um, he does take the five thunder damage, though, right? Mm -hmm. Or he takes um, two. Yeah, two. Yeah, it's it's half. Yeah, half as much damage. Ramnik, you're up. I'm going to... There's really not shite I can do. Um... I'll just frostbite it again. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, DC 15 con. And it makes it. It makes it, but it does take the 7 damage. I mean, Kai's already dead, so if he gets dragged away, does the thing still get attack of opportunities on it? Uh, it'll still get an opportunity, an attack, sure. It can try. It's trying to eat him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. It's trying to replenish health well, by eating. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll move, I'll, I'll, can I occupy a space and stand over him with barter? Uh, I will say you can kind of stand over his legs, barter is sort of standing over his shoulders right now. Um, I just don't want to cover up your token, Kai, because, like, that's just a pain in the ass. Uh, uh, so, Kara takes a step back and is going to take a swing. Uh, does that hit Kara? It doesn't. It just doesn't. But then she's just going to start sharpshootering. Oh, this is both times. Wolves. Alright, since, since I'm here now, this one's no longer to bring it to me so he's gonna run can he can he get over here uh yeah because he's passing or through you guys like, if you yeah he like can do right it here maybe like occupy these spaces let's see yeah he can do it okay and then you I'll, I'll have him attack okay it's with advantage So, why is it with advantage? Pack tactics. Oh, right, right, right. Five. Within five feet of him or five feet of the enemy? Within five feet of the enemy. Okay. So, 24 DC 13 strength. Okay. The, makes a strength. Can the other one make it, it well. here? It's got 50 movement. Uh, let me check. Sorry, I'm trying to do math and everything so this is um, he can make it hold on he can make it to here and I'll say that you guys can budge up with these guys a little bit and he can manage it he'll yeah. do the same thing okay 18 or that'll hit uh, you need to make another strength save. Makes it. And then that's their, that's their turn. Okay. You can see him starting to heal again. A little bit. Uh, uh, Barter is going to take a hit. As he tries to dig in after Kai's body. That won't hit. Um, he's gonna try and not. He's actually gonna try to bite you, Ta. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one. Um, I will use shield. Okay. Uh, he's going to. Um. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna try to uh, dig. He's gonna try to use his shield on um, Barter. That'll hit. Can I give this advantage? Oh no, I just used that for shield. Never mind. Yep. Okay. Barter looks like he took a decent hit, but he's he's still standing. Uh, and then he's gonna go for a claw attack. Let's see. He's gonna go for a claw attack on. Yeah, uh, he'll go back after Barter. That'll hit. Okay. Next. Uh, blast him. Blast him. Alright, that first one will do it. Yeah. Not dead yet, though. Kruik, uh, is gonna burn some sorcery points. Uh, and he's gonna cast... Oh, if he does that. Okay, he's gonna cast Firebolt twice, I guess. That's about all he can do. So, uh, first one is 16 will hit. 27 will hit, so 14. Barter 
Shredder's gonna punch. Cause that's what he does. No. Yes. Ten. Alright, uh, that brings us to top. Alright, I'm going to attack with the sword. Okay, that first one hits. Uh, Alright, he takes some damage. Permanent. Uh, I'll poison spray him. Okay. What was that, a next roll? DC 15 con save for poison. Okay. He does make the con save, but he does take some damage. That's my turn. And he's looking rough. Kara just pulls out the pistols and goes, Alright, I'll make these count. I think that's... Yep. That shot goes straight through his head. That one shot that makes it. And he goes down. I'm gonna turn to Bardor and just like tell him, hey, see if you can do something about him. Like gesturing to Kai or Curly. We need to get him out of here. Now. Where? Just get him out of this room. I need someone to defend it. I don't know how many more of these there are. Oh my God. Move. Uh, yeah. So he, he pulls you guys over into here. Where he came from. All right. I'll pulls have I want to guard these double doors here. I'm the gonna have doors? my wolves yeah. stand guard as Actually, well. Well, uh, no, no, I'll I'll fall back to basically where Bramnik is right now because that's the yeah. best choice. Uh, I'm, I'll I'll right. move back into here and I'll have my wolves defend with Ta like on either side of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like two giant guard dogs. Kara actually wa walks up and says, "Ta, trust me. Hmm. Just go back there. You knew him. Okay. I'll keep watch. I'll call you if if there's anything. I'm." No offense, I'm a little bit more keen of sight than you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Okay. Um, Here is an inventory of my stuff. No, hold <laughs> on. <laughs> hold on. Uh, I need... We have, we have like an amnesia cleric dude, so chill. Maybe. We'll see. He doesn't know what he can do. So... Yeah, so. I need um, everyone but Kai to mute your mics for a moment. Mute our mics? Or... Yep. Okay. So, Kai. Krillian. Yes? Zorkon, is that you? No. You wake up. Or you think you wake up. Everything's dark. It's not unpleasant, and you can see in little ways. You're on a beach. You don't really remember ever being here. It seems to be raining, but only over the river. And if, as you look, you can kind of see on the far side. Maybe a bit of land? You're not sure. Everything is almost in black and white here. You're not uncomfortable. You're not in pain. You're fine. Um, you're in simple clothes, no armor, no weapons. It almost seems peaceful in a weird way. And as you're sitting there, you just sort of feel odd. Like, you know you're supposed to be somewhere, but you don't really know where. You sit there for a little while looking up at the sky and you can see little points of light stars but they're not familiar to you at all and you you've never seen these ones before it's a little odd there's no moon in the sky either and as you're sitting there you see a figure way off in the distance from where you thought you saw that land 
slowly walking towards you. He's cloaked in black. And as he steps on the water, and is actually stepping on the water, not swimming or anything like that, ice sort of forms underneath his feet, giving him a place to stand. He slowly approaches you. And as you're sitting on the beach, he sort of looks over at you. He he doesn't look scary. He's not an unpleasant looking man. He seems to be sort of half elven in nature, maybe. Maybe elven, you're not sure. And he sits down beside you and says, Oh, well, you're new here, aren't you? Well, I suppose you could call this between. I don't know, it's a very odd, odd, odd place. But, back the other way, if you don't go across the river, is where you came from. Across the river is where you could go. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. You're dead. I'm sorry. Just is what it is. Well, I don't know, did you? You remember, it's a little foggy. You can kind of remember it. God, they're creepy. <laughs> um, well... Yeah, that sounds bad. I think I, I've probably... I can think of a few instances where I fought something like that. Uh, that's because I didn't give it. Let's just leave it at this. Um, I was once an adventurer like you. And uh, so I understand. It's, it's a little disconcerting to be here. But... I am... I have to ask you a question. It's a very simple question. If you were given the opportunity, would you want to go back? Just remember that on the other side, everyone that you may have lost, or perhaps never found, is there. If you're ready, I'll take you. If you're not, you can stay here. And that's okay. It's all up to you. Okay. Well, if you need me, and he, pull, he uh, opens up his hand, and you see a vine, a little flower, white, pure white, grow in his hand, and he hands it to you, he says. If you, if you need me, if you, just, if you change your mind before you go back, if you go back, just throw this flower into the river, and I'll come to you. It's just how I know. And he stands up. Uh, you notice three daggers on his belt. They look well worn. The dagger, or the uh, the belt looks well worn as well. Uh, a cloak across his body. And he stands up and he says, Oh, and um, if you happen to find a very old tree on a hill, Please just uh, say hi. You don't get it now. Maybe you will then. And he just starts walking back across the river, ice forming underneath his feet as he disappears to the other side. Now, Corellian, I need you to mute up your mic, and we're going to get everybody else. Everybody else, uh, here's what's up. 
um, Barter is uh, drawing out a circle around Corellian's body. He says, I'll need some help with this. And those that knew him are probably best to help. He draws a circle with three circles equidistant uh, along the perimeter. Uh, he begins to cast a spell. Uh, I don't think any of you would necessarily rec sorry, recognize it. Let's see here. Um, and he's, he says to each of you, for this to have the, the best chance of working, I'll need you each to make a tribute. Something that meant something to you, to him. Perhaps we can call him back. You see the uh, the magic energy flow into the circle, and it begins to flare. There are three places to place something. I guess I'll step up. All right. Uh, I'm going to pull out of the bag of holding the oh, Onichuth. He was there. There's out of character. He was there for yeah. that, right? The Oni okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, just, I couldn't remember because I have that and then I have a Wyvern Tooth, which I don't remember yep. where he came from. He was with us too. Anytime that I have been here, he's been here pretty much. True. Right. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So this is what I was planning on doing it. Anyway. Um, so I'll step up. I'll place the Oni Tooth in uh, in one of the circles, and uh, yeah, say I don't know something like it was it was the first real challenge we faced, I think, as a group, and uh, he probably uh, he probably wouldn't want to go yet anyway because we have one last fight to have. We're gonna decide who's actually the best because each of us won one, which actually just so you guys know, Nix and uh, Ramnik, you guys never knew about that fight. Because we had a second fight on the ship, which you guys were below deck for. So there's there's one more that we need to have, because right now it's 1-1. One, one. Um, Barter looks at, at you, nods. I need you to roll a d20. Okay. He looks over at uh, first Nyx. And Bramnik, would you like to add anything? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, I'll step up to one of the circles, and uh, can I use my druid craft to make like a wooden dragon type deal? Yeah, I think you could. Okay. Made out of like vines and that vines sort of thing. Yeah, you could do. Uh, then I'll just. Discovering my abilities, this was something that he was really excited about potentially doing, and I don't think he would want to leave without actually finishing this, so I want to turn him into a dragon, a, a real dragon. I'll set it into the circle. Barter nods at you, and you see the magic energy flare again, and I need you to roll me a d20. Okay. Okay, so Nyx will step up and she'll pull out a sweet roll from her bag and look at it. <laughs> Pretty fucking old. Those are so old. Yeah, they are. 
<laughs> and she just looks at it and she like oh tries to hold back her tears and she's like he loved food so much. <laughs> Wasn't that from the the dinner where you guys had? Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> and she, she it down. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm okay, roll me a d twenty. Okay. Um, so, as the magic energy starts swirling around uh, Corellian's body, it's been sort of... It's been... You haven't seen any changes at least not yet. Um, but slowly the magic energy starts to sort of flow into Corellian. As that happens, Corellian, you notice where you are is slowly getting brighter. Slowly. And as the rest of the party watches, the energy sort of give off this one large pulse. Curly, you, you can't see. You can't see at all. But then, you take a breath. And everyone watches as Corellian takes a breath. Life apparently restored. For now, anyway. So. You are still alive. Corellian. And you don't have to meet him like, anymore. I would like to insight check to make sure he's not undead. Yeah, sure, <laughs> go for it. What the fuck? Yeah, totally not undead. No, he's not on. Hi, Ka Hi, Carillion. <laughs> what the uh, fuck happened to drop me? A, uh, I'm gonna drop a greater potion of healing from the bag of living in his lap to say, "All right, nap time's over." And then we'll walk away. <laughs> I okay. would now like to take uh, the time to check the rest of the sweet rolls for molds. <laughs> <laughs> Make me an investigation check. What the? What is? This? Is that an Oni? Two? Why is there a sweet roll on the fucking floor? But wait, does it? Yeah, you does can. It... You can. Re it does not consume him. Oh, you can recover. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. It's, it's less the object, more the sentiment that counts. Uh, you don't see any mold on an, on them. Next. Okay. Yeah. No. So just You're the rest fine. of their bag. They're fine. Oh, they're eat it. Good. Um. Meanwhile, uh, Krillian. Here's the deal. You have a negative modifier on your saving throws right now and attacks. Yep, uh, That's what happens when you when you come back from the dead. Um, let me. How do I set that up? And also, how many hit points do I have? Uh, you are returned with half of your hit points. Cool. So. And then there's also... What does a potion of greater? You know, uh, uh, greater, yeah, 44. Uh, so you have, currently right now, Krillian, you have a negative four penalty to all attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks until you uh, finish a long rest. And then that number will go down. Oh, man. Now, what the fuck happened to me? I remember that creepy spider thing hitting me, and it's just, what? Those things are dead, right? Yeah, yeah, we killed them. And uh, I wanna, I wanna hand them the dragon that I made. Okay. And oh, neato. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look you square in the face, and be like, you can't die again. We have plans, remember? You promised to help me. 
just keep this as a as a reminder of that promise. Yeah, the, for for sure. I can't wait. Mix will hand him the sweet roll. Uh, <laughs> thanks. I mean, I'm I'm not really hungry right now, but I'll I'll keep that in mind. You just died. I I'm you not need hungry. This drink. <laughs> Give okay. Me some later. Um. So, what do you guys want to do? <sighs> uh, we're gonna wrap up soon. So, guys, we need to find a place to sleep and rest. I'm effectively useless from henceforth until we sleep. And that magical watchdog is still most likely flying above us in circles right now. Well, the good so. news is probably all the goblins are dead because of these things. Yeah, but how many more That's... of these things are there? Do my are yeah, my wolves acting agitated or anything? Can I? Uh, make I me a nature check them. just to see how how much you can tell from them. Just a normal nature check. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what you can tell, uh, they are alert as there was combat. They are not, however, aggressive currently. And from what you know, that usually means they are, you know, watchful. They are, you know, like any scout type animal, you know, anything like that. But that they don't necessarily notice anything around them currently. Can I, can I naturally communicate with them or do I have to, like... Uh, they can them? understand you. You cannot understand them without casting a spell. Even though they're not technically beasts, they're face spirits. Yeah, but they're taking beast form. They don't have... Right. Uh, yeah, they, it's kind of like polymorph. You can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, I, I got to be right back. Hey, Tom, before you go, could you, could you get some of my javelins back for me? I think we're going to need those. Uh, How many did you throw? I threw four. Well, you do have more in the bag. Oh, cool. I'm a... Uh... Barter, did you do this? Don't ask me how. I don't understand it, but... Yes, I did. Oh. Alright. As a... As Drink a paladin sworn under Zorkon, I, I owe you my life. This like that. Uh, whatever you need, I will pay for it. Let's worry about that once we get out of this situation. I'm really not um, thinking about that right now. Besides, you've already saved me. I think it's only fair. At this point, uh, yeah. Uh, Kurik looks at you and says, I have a place we can rest, but just know that, um, well, we need a, a place to hide it. We, it's not, we don't need much, but we need a place to hide it. Like what? I can make a small, uh, mini dimension that we can stay in for now. Oh. It won't be How big would this thing be? It's enough to, uh, to hold all of us. Just barely, but it's enough. Wait, what's happening? Uh, we could use one of those small rooms. We just need to hide it behind something, or... The thing is that the doorway to this dimension remains open during this time. And I'd rather not have... Well... One of them. One of these things showing up inside. Not while I'm sleeping, but we should be safe inside if we can do that. Uh, what if I was to cast an illusion over it? Would that cancel out if I was to enter this pocket dimension, or would the illusion still remain? Uh, is it a concentration, or pass? yeah, like that's the question? No, not concentration. It'll last as long as the spell, uh, the spell lasts. Yeah. Oh well, never mind. Doesn't make. Never mind. Uh, the best I could do is pull out my disguise kit, put some makeup on a rock wall or something, and yeah, that's about it. That could work. Um, can we find a 
table or something along those lines. Actually, uh, there's doors. What if, what if we use the goblin hideout? We can go back uh, there. Sure. And, yeah, we could try. And that. go into one of the maybe go into one of those hidey holes or something. I don't know. I just, I can't. I don't think everybody can fit inside of that. Hold on. Um. Remnick. Where did you find all that that stuff, that armor and, and, and all that? Uh, like a tomb? Well, I only need a small area for a doorway. Uh, let's not go prematurely put me back in a grave. <laughs> <laughs> only be temporary. Put in a grave. Just... I don't yeah. know. I what if a... we take well because there's yeah, still a couple of these doors right like these doors over here there there are doors they're not knocked off the hinges like the last room right mm -hmm. what if we take a door and prop it up against the recess and on the wall or just like keep the door swung open and keep behind the door i can put it on the door let's just go back it's not that far sure and it keep it puts a little distance between us and if this is a hive of sorts, I'd rather not be in this area. Let's head back. And okay, sounds right. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm down for whatever. Just, I'm really I feel really weak. You're, you're down for whatever, yep. so I can polymorph you into a uh, dragon. Right? I'm gonna start walking back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll make sure to call out to uh, Kara first. Yeah, uh, uh, she'll gonna, follow. I'm gonna bring you guys back. I'm gonna have the wolves basically stay there until their time runs out. Just okay. in case anything comes through, they have to fight them, and then yeah. So you guys come back into the goblin lair. Um. Well. And actually, Crook uh, sort of comes over to here, uh, looks in here, and says, this might work. This opening right here is just big enough for you to get through. Ta. All right. Just so you know. Uh, so you guys can kind of sneak up here and uh, in this space. And I'm just going to do this right now. He makes this small little dome. Uh and all of you can fit inside. In fact, nine people can fit inside exactly. Nice. So all of you are in there. There's nothing particularly insanely, you know, great about it. It's just a small room. You can see out, uh, but while you're outside, you can't see in. Um, and so is there anything else you guys want to do before we end for tonight? I'm hey, assuming Nick, you guys want to go for a long rest, or or a short rest, or what? A long yeah, rest, please. Okay. Hey, hey, Nix, how many uh, slots do you have open in that ring that I gave you? Uh, right now, it's completely discharged, so... Yeah, it's do you have good. any spells you can cast into it to prepare for tomorrow? Uh, can... Not right now. After a short rest time, I could do that. Craig and actually that looks over at you and goes... I might be able to help there. Seems like oh. you guys aren't very good with with casters. Hey, hey, Kree. He looks right at at the the ring, and then you just see him flick his fingers really quickly. You now have a stored counter spell in your ring. Oh, was it? What level is it then? Third level. It's third. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks. Use it wisely. In the morning, I have, I have to find that fire portal. I'm not letting him get away. Hey, hey, Kruik, Before we go to sleep, can, are you able to identify things? Uh, let me see. Of course, this freaking thing went down. Okay. Um, spells. Nope. <laughs> he can't identify. Wait, Nix, are you able to identify? 
Yes. Oh, okay. Well, How do you think we've been getting all of our loot identified? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you want to look at these things for me? And yeah, sure. All the loot that you allowed me to get by myself by not coming back? Hey, you're welcome for all that self-confidence, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just going to already just go pass out. <laughs> I've had a really long okay. day. <laughs> uh, I will give you the uh, the loot stuff, but leave it uh, as... The uh, the metal, the plate armor, uh, is not magical, but it, uh, and you're not exactly sure what kind of metal it is, but it seems to have, you know, you know how old the stuff that was in there is, and it seems to have held up just fine, like it is very, very strong, durable metal. Um, okay, the necklace is a magical necklace. I will give you the details for that later, and if you want to attune to it, I will give that to you okay. later. Um, I just, I have it written down, I just don't have it typed up yet. No problem. Um, because it's a semi-complex piece. So, I have to, yeah. The whip thing. Um, Nix, as you sort of reach out to identify it, as you touch it, you hear a voice in your head. Oh, God. Who mm -hmm. are you? What am I touching? You're, uh, he's got a whip. It's okay. basically like, you know those five-piece stabs that you see? Yeah. It's like that with a uh, sort of a crystal piece at the very end it's it, to turn it into kind of this whip-like thing. And I'm hearing this in my head. Yes, this is. Who are you? Uh, I'm your master, and she'll try to deceive <laughs> this thing. Okay, make me a deception check. Jesus. You somehow made it. Looks like he goes, oh, really? You wish to be my slave? If you're going to, if you try to wield me, you must pass the test first. Uh, okay, next is just going to look over at Bramdick really fast and be like, uh, this thing actually wants tests done first. Are you sure you want this? What do you mean it wants tests done? Uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> there's someone here right now, like, inside this thing. It's, like, talking. Okay. Hey, 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 Barter. Can, can you check this thing and see if it's cursed? Do you have that ability? He looks at you and goes, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I do. Alright, what's the test whip thing? Is she talking out loud or in her head? Uh, it's, it's telepathic. Yeah. You just sort of hear this low laugh for a second. Cast a spell. But cast it through me. And I will decide if you are worthy of me. Hmm. Okay, uh, Nyx will walk towards one of the openings okay. and hold so the... So you step outside the hut and just sort of come down here? Not step outside, but like aim the... the like pretty much hold up the... Because I mean, I imagine pe the object is talking about the crystal that's on it. Or just like the, the whole Didn't thing Didn't say itself. necessarily. Oh, okay. Cast okay. a spell through me. Um... Hell, okay, I'll just wiggle outside here and then just try to cast Burning Hands, I guess, through it. Okay, so roll Burning Hands. All right. And then roll an Arcana check. Okay. Ooh. Um... 
as you all right so as you cast through it it, it you can almost hear it laughing at you in in your head uh, you i mean cuz what you're trying to do is cast the spell through the the idea is to cast the spell through the item to the other side almost oh okay all right i mis- i misunderstood that then uh, well i mean a burning hands works just fine but as you were oh, trying okay. to do that um you know as you're holding on to it as you're trying to cast the spell through the item uh it sort of fizzles out. You can actually see its progress. It gets up one of the seven pieces that make up this thing. Plus the crystal sort of broadhead at the end. Uh, it gets through one into the second and fizzles out. And you can hear sort of laughter. I guess. You are not worthy. Oh, Oh, you motherfucker. Just wait. Oh, you wait. Just you wait. I'm going to rest up, and you're going to fucking wish you hadn't said that. I'm going to blow your ass apart. We'll see. She'll climb back in here and hand it back to Bramnik. Um, so... <laughs> Good luck with that thing. And she'll hand it you back to You can try, Bramnik, if you wanted. As she hands it to you, you can hear that same voice in your head. I don't know if he's still here. Um, I was muted. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, do cantrips count? Because that's the only spells I have right now. Yeah, if you can. Yeah, you can try to cast one through. All right. For Poison you, <laughs> because uh, because of your magic type, give me a nature roll. All right. So do I need to roll the poison spray or not? Yep. Roll the poison spray first. Okay. And now roll. roll me a nature roll. Okay. You managed to make it through uh, three of these pieces. And on the third one, it, it fizzles out. And you just sort of get a weird... Hmm. You seem more my type, but you are still not worthy. Cool story, bro. Back in the pouch you go. <laughs> Just, okay. I'll stick him in the pouch for now. All right. So I can get a better idea of who or what he is. Can I ask him, What yeah. do you have a name? Uh, you can do that before you put him yeah, put it in the pouch? Yeah, before I put him in the pouch. <laughs> Surprised none of you did that initially, but, uh, okay. Um, anyway. Yes, so, uh, yes. My name is Sylvain. Sylvain? Sylvain. I'll put it in chat. That sounds familiar. I am the Spellweaver. Spellweaver. sound fancy uh like all spells or do you have a preferred spell type i was i was made i suppose or born and i'm not exactly sure but i was created by one very similar to you and i am very effective at what I do. Similar to me as in, like, short and stout, or similar to me as in, like, in touch with nature? Try the latter. I'd rather not be stuck on something so small. Choose your words wisely. (laughs) Or you'll stay in a dark pouch forever. Well, with your apparent mastery of magic, being so grand, I'm not entirely sure that would be the worst thing for me. <sighs> you cocky son. Why are you mouthy little son of a gun? Back in the pouch you go. 
And I put them away okay. and I'll nix the necklet or the, the stone circlet. Okay. Uh, it is not magical. Okay. It just is. It's very, very well crafted, but it is um, not magical. Can I lie to Bremnik and tell him that it is magical? Uh, make a deception check, sure. Would this be against my insight? Yeah, I would. No! Oh! <laughs> yeah, nice try. Uh, All right. If I if I wear it, is it just like nothing? It's just like wearing a. Yeah, it's just a stone circlet. I'll wear it. That was all right. Okay. So, anything else anyone want to do before you guys settle in for your rest? I would like to use the alarm ritual. Okay. Uh, Pretty much um, what? Uh, um, I want to say like. Well, uh, let me see what the actual like range of it is, or like how much area it covers. I'm not you sure. can choose a door or a window or a specific spot. It's like okay. A mile or something. In there. It's like a five by five area. It is five by five. Uh, okay. Um, I guess she'll just put alarm like right here down the middle like in the middle of the corridor okay. or the hallway All right, and, and sort another... of a silent alarm to go off for you yeah i think we're, is it we're concentration make it a mental one no no okay um All right yeah there's a there can be a mental alarm so I'll use okay. a mental alarm uh, all right 20 foot cube, right? Uh, alarm? No. Yeah. You set an alarm against unwanted intrusion. Choose a door window or an area within range that is no larger than a 20 foot cube. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so it does. It's All right. within a mile, it looks like. Okay. I guess the whole dang cave area okay, there. You're, yeah, your area. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you got an alarm now. Cool. cool. And Nix will go to sleep then. Fuck it. Anyone else? Nope, I just got done dying and coming back to life. <laughs> you just passed out. Talk when we check in again on Melier. You have sure. to poke your head out. Yeah, but yeah. The uh, Because the thing's impenetrable, you have to at least make a little hole in, like, the door or whatever. Open the door a little bit so that the signal gets out. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah. I'll just check everything's still okay. Uh, she, she sort of responds. Yeah, we, uh, there was a shadowy thing up in the sky for a minute, but it didn't see us. We went under a ledge, and we're fine. Mostly. Let her, let her know there, that we're staying the night. Is there just one? I only saw one this time. Uh, they didn't see me, though. I'm pretty sure. Okay. All right. The rest yeah. are off in the... Yeah. Essex says the rest of them are over in the volcano. Uh, one of them's doing big circles. What? The rest uh, of them? There's... Uh, yeah, there were three. Oh, shadows. Okay. Two of them are still at the volcano, and she's saying one of them sort of doing these big circles oh. around. I had forgotten that. Yep, no worries. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll be back sometime, not tonight, today, whatever time. We're underground, I don't know. So, stay safe. Okay. Have fun. And then she just sort of, like, clicks it off. Yeah, she's fine. Hooray! All right, so as you guys settle in for a night's rest, having uh, some of you a little more worse for wear than others, 
you each sort of reflect on the day, uh, Corellian, a little bit more, maybe perhaps on your life a little bit more. And many of you feeling a little pensive as well, I assume. Oh my God. However, as you sleep, good dreams, oddly. Dreams of running through the forest free. Dreams of a, p a mountain of gold. Dreams of winning a large combat tournament in front of a huge crowd. Dreams of a small village with regular people and a quiet life. And as you sleep, no alarm goes off throughout the night. You hear some stirrings from, um, from Karaz. She seems to have some more fitful dreams. But the experience of having one of your party members almost die of how far you've managed to come. So in such a short amount of time, really, it makes you feel bold. Maybe not unstoppable, as that's been proven. Maybe not unstoppable, but stronger together. And you're all level eight. Woo. Oh, thank God. Holy smokes. So just keep in mind, Nyx is going to look more attractive. <laughs> next lesson. So, so she'll be about a four. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, 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 man. Woo. Yeah. All right. Well, wow. I am glad I made the maps that I made. <laughs> I got that crap, stuff done. Dude. That was intense. That goblin yeah. smashing was fun as fuck, though. That was so satisfying. Yeah, that was, Thank you I've, for that. Again, I felt bad keeping them just sitting there for an hour while yeah. we were doing that. But yeah. I was gonna, That's like, like I was waiting for any opportunity to get the rest of you guys in there, but I was just like, there's no way to do that. Uh, That's how I well, in a jailbreak. It's just like, this is fucking awesome. Just slain everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like giving you guys. Uh, you don't have to recover hit dice. You recover all your health. Oh no, I, I'll uh, and half your hit. We oh, resurrected hit. Birdie. What's Holy that? Holy crap, Birdie's here. Birdie. Hey. Holy shit, you're late. Yeah, I had to volunteer this morning. Oh hey, he exists. Well, I'm trying to get yeah. some uh, work experience. He Fair enough. Well, we literally just wrapped up. Uh, yeah, he was watching the stream, but. But if are you do you want to jump in next week? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay, uh, get with me. Uh, we have time tomorrow. Okay. Or a little later tonight, like if you give me like yeah. twenty minutes or so. Yeah, I'm cool with that. And we'll we'll talk over some stuff. Okay. I've got some. I, I had some ideas uh -oh. for you. So, oh no, not bad, not bad. I, I had some interesting ideas that might uh, that can sort of drag you in oh, and. Uh, oh, you mean? I think everybody will be really happy to have a fucking ranger with the group. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah cool. I, I got in. I got home just in time to watch uh, Kai get his ass die. kicked. <laughs> fucking die. <laughs> By the way, so, uh, I, so I posted cool. in, wow, it looks like you guys could use another character. Ranger, perhaps? Exactly. <laughs> Who happens to specialize um, in uh, monstrous creatures, if I remember right? Something like that, yep. <laughs> uh, so far... They've run into a hunting horror, which uh, oh, those are fun. you might not necessarily know. Yeah, uh, but oh, no. yeah, that's a, that was that's an aberration, but uh, yeah, a little rough. I I, I do want to say, at a character, obviously we're done. Um, uh, I do love how everybody was like, "Oh my fucking god, these things!" And I'm like, because I don't know D and D very well. I'm like, I don't give a fucking shit. And then also, Ta would have the same mentality of like, I don't give a fucking shit. I'm gonna fight it anyway. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Except for the horror thing, that was just a bad situation. I didn't want to be on here. <laughs> Which one? The the flying horror thing. I didn't. Oh realize. yeah, the hunting horror. Stupid to be outside with that thing. Yeah, they're <laughs> kind of the ultimate bloodhounds in a certain way. I mean, they're not. There are better bloodhounds, if you will, out there, but they're certainly pretty high up the list for for things that can really, really hurt you. Just kind of fun, but yeah, right, um, Tanaka, fun. I will, I will talk at you um, if you give me. I just need a, a couple minutes break because we just obviously finished up, and I just need to get up and move yeah. around for a second. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed, and I hope, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what you guys come up with for your characters next session. But um, I already know what I'm doing. You're alive, so that's a plus. Yep. <laughs> Well, you know, death is a thing. Sometimes you can come back, sometimes you can't, and we'll see. Um, Uh, Also, uh, Krillian, I need you to put in your bio uh, one death. Yep. That actually affects things. Also, uh, after the long rest, um, you're going to have a, still going to have a negative one modifier on pretty much everything for a little while. Um. I'm gonna. I might accelerate that a little bit, but yeah, because of. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, you're good. Yeah, you get you get fun things at level eight. So, uh, that is uh, that's that's me. If anybody has anything for me, uh, wait a few minutes and then and then we'll talk. All right. I'm gonna get up and screw around for a little bit. Pretty eventful session. Uh, guess we will all meet up again next week. Bye.